So I'm just cranking out the videos today. Uh, Deacon's at school. It's Wednesday and this is the day where I actually have a little bit of time. My sister's coming into town tonight so I'm so excited. But um, I want to get some videos caught up because when she's here it's going to be just crazy, 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 crazy. So this video I actually wanted to do about protecting people who are not good to you. So whether you're in Oh man, an abusive relationship in a relationship where there's maybe excessive drug and alcohol. Well, any drug use I think is excessive, but any excessive alcohol um, use, drug use, anything, anything that you're not willing to just say, hey, to your, you know, your girlfriends and just talk about because you're worried that it might affect their reputation you might think that some people may think differently of them and I'm not saying go blur your problems to everybody and that's not what I'm doing here but um, what I am saying is that if you are hiding something so big that nobody can know then it's a bigger problem than I think you're willing to admit and I did this for a, I did this for years so this is coming from experience now I hid and you have to deal with the threats so I'll touch on that here in a second. So I hid from, from I, I mean, I hid his problems from everybody. I didn't share with people that we were struggling so much financially because I didn't want them to know why at that time it had been a pill problem. I did not want people to know that he was taking 17 pain pills a day. I just, I didn't want people to know that. I didn't want people to know that there was such a big problem going on in our marriage and I didn't want them to view him differently because I thought that we could just get through it and we did a couple of times and everything would be normal and that way, you know, like my parents, for example, didn't think poorly of him or think that he was a bad spouse or a bad father. So for a really long time, I hid it all. I didn't, my friends didn't know. My family definitely didn't know. Um, nobody. Now people noticed things, but you know they didn't necessarily say things, or they just kept them, you know, really like, oh, he's really wired today, or he's really whatever. You know what I mean? Like just weird things. So, um, what else I dealt with were the threats. Because there was one time where I had said, if this keeps going on, I'm going to call your dad. This is more than, you know, I can handle. If you call my dad, I'm leaving you. I took that very seriously and I was terrified. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how I could, you know, handle things on my own. I didn't know anything. So it was very, um, it was a serious threat and I didn't call his dad because of it. Now, when I found the meth in his wallet, I did call his dad because I realized that it was out of control. I mean, just beyond out of control. I was scared. I didn't know what else to do. So I did involve his dad at the time. Now I didn't tell anybody else for six months after that, but you know, I did, I did finally start to open up to somebody and tell somebody. And it wasn't until I told more people that I began to realize that it was a, a problem, like a serious problem and that we needed to leave because you know, all the pieces that were out there just started to kind of fit together. And yeah, it was, it was then. So what I'm trying to say is really assess your situation. If this is something where you are protecting them, because maybe you don't want people to know that they're cheating on you, or maybe you don't want people to know that they are abusing you, whether it be verbally or physically. Um, if you are protecting these people because it is that bad, then you really need to consider leaving. And yes, the threats are hard and yes, the threats are scary. And you know, it's, it's a really hard situation, but if you are hiding them because it's that bad, you kind of have the upper hand in the situation. So try not to let those threats, you know, dictate whether or not you seek help, even if it's just talking to a friend and, you know, getting their, their take on the situation or talking to, you know, the person who you're protecting, if they have, you know, good, solid parents talking to them. That was the best decision that I had ever made. And, you know, it's hard to do and it's not something that you may necessarily want to do, but it is definitely the best thing to do. So, um, I know that's a little random, but it's something that I did for so long. And when I finally did tell my mom, like I said, I just broke, like I broke into a bazillion pieces and then I had a lot of guilt for a really long time because I'm so open with all my friends, but I wasn't open about this. And it was like the biggest thing going on in my life. 
So I felt guilty that I didn't have that communication with them. I also felt like I could have been better sooner if I had opened up. So I think my, my biggest piece of advice is to open up with somebody, somebody you trust, somebody who's level headed, somebody who is, isn't just like, yeah, you know, this is bad. You need to live. like be, somebody rational, like somebody rational with their head on straight who can really give you some sound advice. So, um, and maybe you don't have a friend or a family member who can do that. You know, maybe you seek somebody out in church, maybe you see a counselor or, you know what I mean? Like there's, there's a lot of options out there and yeah, I think that's my, my best tip of advice as far as like protecting somebody and, you know, lifting up that guard just a little bit in order to, you know, make it known. And if you have to, here's another thing you could do. Talk to somebody anonymous, helplines and things like that that you can call and you can talk to. And again, if you're in this situation, I think you really need to really consider not being in that situation. And I know easier said than done. I'm still living every single day. I'm still living the, you know, the, the consequences of leaving. But I can tell you that even though there's other struggles, everything else is brighter. So, all right, that's my little piece of advice for the day or this weekend as far as that goes. And you want to say goodbye? I'll talk to you guys later. Let's say bye to him. Here's Drakey. Drakey, say bye. Bye. They're worth it. All that poop, it's worth it. They're worth it. Vegas.